Hey guys, welcome to Age Studio Channel. Channel. Channels. Hey guys. You watch it all. I'm amused for today, and Sorry. I look good in. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. This is HD Signature. So I'm doing a bridal series um, makeup and it's a collaboration between myself, HD Signatures, Amber Photography and Gilly by underscore Mima. So I'm going to be leaving their details in the description box, guys. So basically the idea behind this um, series is we want to be doing a back-to-back -back, um, makeup look on a different model for a brighter makeup look on a different model so me i'm going to be doing makeup on the bride obviously and amber photography is going to be doing her thing she's going to be killing the image with her shots and also i have gele by others called Mima. she's going to be tying the gele guys our first model our first beautiful model is it's a Billy Messi. So our first model is it's a Billy Messi, guys. I mean, she's beautiful and she has she has the perfect perfect character that we need or that we're looking for in a model concerning how to you know wear the look professionally and she really did that. So guys, you're still going to be seeing more of her because we also have the part where we are going to be dressing the model up as um, a bride a, that she'll be wearing a white bridal gown and it's a really messy as she is a professional in uh, bridal styles so she's going to be fixing that fixing that up guys so basically i'm going to be showing you guys a traditional look on this uh, model she's going to be wearing a traditional makeup look for a bride or a nigeria bride so guys um please keep on watching and um don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to follow gele by underscore my ma guys if you're in nigeria and you need an expert in gele time and don't also forget to also check up on amber photography i will leave a detail on the screen so you guys get to use her for your big day guys for your big day so thank you so much for watching I'm going to be leaving the details of all the products I'll be using in this video down below, guys. So you check it out. Then I'm going to be doing our skin. Now I'm using Maybelline foundation in Super Stay. I'm using that as a foundation. I'm using this buffing brushes from Elf Cosmetics, guys. These two combo, they are my go-to. I love them so so much. And lately I've been using Maybelline Super Stay foundation. I've been loving it because so many, so many testimonies from it from my clients and you know it's the, the wear is so 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 fabulous so guys you see how it's coming out on now you know when i initially applied it's looking lighter but one thing about foundation is if it's looking lighter when you're when you initially applied it you have to give it some time to blend it into the skin so it takes the color of the skin guys so for the under eyes i'm also using maybelline yeah i'm using a foundation i like the fact that it has a mattifying finishing so i'm going to be using that and my brush to carefully place that under her eyes so while i place that under her eyes i'm going to leave that and go over to her contouring part so guys if you look at her face she has more of a round face so guys you're going to see how i contoured her face guys she doesn't have a cheekbone but i made sure i gave her one so guys just stick around and keep watching this video as you see and learn how i contoured her face so guys for our contour guys first of all i'm going to be because she has like a warm face there's no dimension so i'm going to be going into a warm foundation from uh, this is mocha from zk cosmetics this foundation is more of a moisturizing finishing it's not mattifying i like to use a moisturizing finishing foundation as my contour or my um for bronzing up the face so after using that guys i'm going to be going into elf cosmetics to pick up a cool tone foundation guys and I'm going to be applying that somewhere under a cheekbone. Can you see how it lifted a uh, lifted a cheekbone up? It's making her look like she has a cheekbone, guys. So, to um for you guys that are still like confused about what to use for um uh, uh, bronzing up the face and what to use for contouring, a foundation that has a cool tone, cool undertone is used for contouring and 
to add dimension and warmth to your face you use a foundation that has a warm undertone because a cool undertone has this uh, doesn't have any red to it is it's kind of dull so whenever you place it it gives it a shadow so by so doing it makes it look as if whatever like the cheekbone is there and all that so guys over to our nose side i'm going to be making sure i snatched our nose and as you guys can see she's looking looking pretty so i'm just going to be going over with my brush to make sure everything look seamlessly blended and she's looking pretty guys her eyes are so beautiful i'm going to be leaving the names of the products that i used in this video down below guys so please enjoy this tutorial and um let me know what you guys enjoy most and also you can go over to our channel at it's really messy i'm going to be leaving a detail on the screen guys so you get to see how she also have a video posted consigning this look so you guys get to see and also follow her on our channel guys or subscribe to our channel and on our instagram as well so guys i'm just feeling myself because i enjoy this look and this is my first one from this series brighter series that we are doing this is the first one guys so if you want to be my model please let me know chat me up go to my uh instagram page at hd signatures for my personal influencing page but for my clients page at hd signatures underscore clients so i'm going to be leaving that on the screen so if you want to be my muse let me know i would like to have you guys on my chair i would like to create magic with you guys i'm so excited guys because my first bridal series is looking dope and i have the best and the most funniest model ever so i'm so happy now guys i'm going over to her lip because she, normally she's not someone that wear this kind of eye look it's too bright for a person so i just had to do that you know just to like portray the traditional look per se kind of in nigeria you get but this doesn't necessarily have to be that you must wear this eye color as a bride in nigeria what suits you is what you do but i just want to do this and to show you guys that you can actually wear this bold eye and your lips can make it look more sorted so for our lips i'm going to be carefully I'm going to carefully sculpt her lips with uh, my go-to lip stain, Tonda from Classic. I like to use that um, lip stain a lot because it gives me that perfect sculpting and all that. So I'm going to be, I'm using this brush, the brush I'm using is from number seven. I think it's a concealer brush. It has this very stiff bristles, but I like to use it for anything that has to do with detailing because it works well for me so i went into my diy palette and i picked up a pinky lipstick i think this is from um ah where's guys i'm going to be listing it down because that palette you saw guys contains different brands of lipsticks so this is from a particular brand and all that. i'm going to be leaving it below so i'm using this brush this is the brush that i use in contouring and nose i'm using that to blend the edges of the inner lipstick with the outer part of the brown one that i used so i'm going to be going back with the brush just to uh, reapply the lipstick up to the edges of our lips then i'll go back with the other brush to blend 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 to blend them out she's looking pretty guys so i enjoyed this i enjoyed this tutorial guys i enjoy creating this look guys please let me know what you think about this tutorial what do you enjoy about it let me know so afterwards i'm going to be using a foundation shade this is a little bit darker than that and with a precise brush i'll be using that to define the line in a lower lip so she doesn't have any bleeding effect there then afterwards i'll be going into my zara cosmetic setting spray to just keep everything in one place marry all the old looks together so i'm going to be going into my um classic blush palette and i'm using this blush it's so beautiful on her skin the blush is it has this um undertone with the color that i use in a crease area initially so i'm using that with a real techniques brush to blend that into a cheek and i'll be going into my milani body all over glow that's my all milani all over glow i'm going to be using that to add glow to our cheek so i wax at a smile a bit just to know where to place that and also i'll be using my uh, Retechniques techniques blending brush that's like a detailed blending brush under eye blending brush i'll be using that to place 
all those glue on her face and um guys and i'll also be going back into uh my Nuban beauty glow and i'll be placing that strategically on her highest point in the highest point of her cheekbone just to add a little bit of color to that place so guys let me know what you enjoy most and you're going to be seeing how the gele is you're going to see how the whole look the attire and everything and, and for the styling guys it's um mug mug outfits fits. so i'll be leaving that as well on the screen so thank you so much you guys for watching and god bless you all bye guys